Christina Barrows, aka Rainbow Eyes, and I am here today to talk a little about the aura. So I've got a lot of questions about what is the best way to learn to see auras and how how do I see auras? Or actually my number one question I get is what does my aura look like? And um, I just wanted to do a little video today about how I learned how to see auras and how you can too. It's actually a very simple process. Um, the best way is to get a partner or a friend who is also interested in learning about seeing auras and practicing subtle energy awareness. Being able to see auras is actually just a muscle that you're cultivating and it is an awareness of the subtle realms. And there is a very subtle realm that exists um, everywhere around you. And if you can tune into it, you can actually sense at first and then slowly over time visually see the different colors and energies and auras that are coming off of objects and people. So um, the, the way I started was I got a partner who also was very interested in learning to see auras and we practice in front of walls and you find a nice white wall and you have them stand in front of it and you stare and you just kind of relax your eyes and um, for example here I'm looking at the camera and focused on it but if I use a sort of auric sense or auric sight is what I like to call it um, my eyes sort of do this and it's kind of like me looking at the camera, but I'm unfocused. And things get a little blurry or cross-eyed or double at first. And this is a sort of practice mode. And you just stare at objects or a person uh, with this sort of fuzzy-eyed awareness. And you can also st stare at your hand. Um, a lot of books I looked at said to stare at the hand. Uh, against a dark background and you can start seeing the um, or around your, your fingers and another great method to practice aura seeing is you take your fingers and you put them up against each other and then you slowly pull them apart while focusing on the energy around them and you want to do it in front of a dark background or a light background so that you can see the energy thread between your two fingers and you can practice with your whole hand and all your fingers uh, with crystals and eventually you'll start seeing this thread that connects between your fingers and you'll see how far you can stretch before the thread is gone or the energy is disrupted. So those are a couple of ways that I learned to see auras. Now keep in mind at first I didn't really see anything at all. So I just sort of felt the aura, I felt like a feeling. And then those feelings I associated with a certain chakra or color and I developed my own sense of the auras and the auric sight for myself. So my best recommendation would be to get a few books that are um, really great about the aura. I'll list a few here or here. I didn't really go by a manual or a book. I skimmed a few many books and took what I liked from each and sort of developed my own technique. And what I learned is it's a muscle and the more you work with subtle energies and the more you discover your own um, subtle senses, the more you'll be able to see colors, um, energy signatures, uh, different shapes and even strange faces and objects in the aura. Um, but just remember all of these are your own interpretations and projections from your mind and from your own thoughts and feelings about other people or the colors or your own beliefs. So all that has a lot to do with your subtle sense and subtle awareness. Um, 
but you have to rely on trusting your intuition and your instincts. You want to trust really in that guidance that you're given because the ego might want to ascribe judgment or prejudice or values that you didn't even know you have ingrained inside of you. So that's a little bit different when you're using your intuition and your guidance to feel these energies and see these energies around people.